I left you on episode number five. So the ordeal had been taken care of. I decided I was going to get two tires instead of one because the front passenger side tire was bolting and it was the front driver's side tire that went out on you. See this? But yeah, I got a good deal. Bolting. 120 bucks. Wow. Put me back on the road. Also getting my AC oh, unit charged well, with. Off a dummy tire, that is. So, I already watered my pepper plants. And the second biggest one I got, I'm going to give to my Aunt Connie. It's just a matter of uh, getting it down to her. Leaving here, I'm going to make a stop by the dump, and I'm going to get some more of these. I really ought to be dragging the water. forward to making my bed, I want to try and do my best to use this camera as much as I can. Alright, here we go. I reckon I'll hit that dock first. That's the same speed bump. Oh boy, kind of like that speed bump. I'm recording. Yeah, I cracked this up. Take up two spaces, but I'll be quick. That'd be quick. Moving along. You're lucky I wasn't close! You know something? I'm trying my best to be a great driver. You know? You know, sometimes I can be a yellow light beast. But I try to be considered, I try to get in the other lane, like, especially on the interstate, I try to get in the hammer lane if there is a pulled over vehicle with flashes on, on the shoulder. You know, some people, but I can't really complain about this guy, I was yelling because I was trying to have some fun. Alright, so I already took care of the trash. I'll probably get the drinks on my way home. I don't know what all I'm going to do while I'm out, but I'm just trying to make the best of my couple days off. I'm going with an option that seems healthier than most. I am having some Taco Bell. All right. It's kind of tricky in the Taco Bell. I want to get full, but I would prefer not to spend $12.67 worth of food for one person. Those cravings deals they got, oh yeah, they're pretty good, price-wise. And I think I'm recently full for right now. Um, got me left over five layer burrito. I just want something different for a change. On oh, this ride, I don't know what I'm doing from here. As long as I get that carton of sodas before I get home, that's, that's the main thing. Moving along. Sure, I don't hit anybody. Some water. I don't know if I had this or not. Good. Uh, this is the first. Um, this is not the food line that I normally go to. But it's been a while since I've been to this one. I got stuff to check out. That is amazing. So now I'm going to have to start my way to the house. The butts of milk. And I ought to get it in the fridge as soon as I can. 
So I'm having a nice little outing. Ben, that's pretty good though. So before I take off, obviously I need to get my keys first. Puddle. That we've seen under here is that condensation. What one is that? We're gonna stop our way to the house. But hey, you wanna hear a, a funny little story? So I had Taco Bell for lunch, and I had an idea to do a TikTok video. Pretty much a meme making it look like I'm advertising a Netflix movie. And you know the whole thing about Taco Bell giving people an upset stomach, right? Well, in the events leading up to me doing the last shots for it, you know, before I did the final shots, I was driving and my stomach got weak. Um, nothing super serious, but <laughs> yeah. All right. Time to put this down and get rid of them. Well, it was an interesting day with this thing. But, uh,. There seems to be a little bit of an issue because the files that are recorded on this thing turn out to be uh, AVI and it's not compatible with uh, my editing software. So that's when I just got to get creative. It looks like we're going to have yet another Wednesday vlog episode. As far as the rest of this episode goes, we'll just have to see what tomorrow Wednesday brings us. Okay, but wait, maybe I'll do a little bit of show and tell for you. So this is a linear leg pillow. Um, I don't think I have the uh, packaging with me anymore or else I'll tell you the brand. But this thing, this thing right here is a plus for side sleepers like myself. It's good for overall comfort and circulation. I say it makes a good background noise. Oh. Well, folks, you see, <laughs> last episode was kind of interesting. Here's another one for you that's kind of interesting. Power towel. And so, let's see if my mom and I decide we're not going to be sitting at home with no power with um, no battery in our phones. Some parts of the county apparently got hail. I didn't see no hail. I guess a side benefit of all this is uh, there's um, not many people out and about right now. So uh, you can hear some thunder. You, you can see that's pretty much where the storm is right now. Uh, you can see the mountains getting rained on. Whoa. <laughs> And uh, well, we had to take it off the route to get here, but uh, the interesting thing was we had a feeling there was going to be a traffic backup, but that traffic backup conveniently ended at our lane, so we got in our lane, no problem. I now have to try not to use my phone's battery all up and you know, before power gets restored. I'm not liking this. I prefer having a fan on in the background, but the wildlife outside is a lot better than dead silence, and I can't sleep in dead silence. Hopefully we might have some information as to what all had happened this evening, and let's just hope that nobody's hurt or anything like that. You know, a little bit over seven years ago, my parents and I, we went to, uh, sorry I got a message from my aunt. Okay. So, uh, we went to White Sulphur Springs, West Virginia. After that storm happened, that really bad one, and we saw a neighborhood in ruins. And we also saw 
supply trucks and pallets of bottled water. I got a special bond for that state because um, I got family there and it truly is wild and wonderful. And winters in Pocahontas County and I'd say even Greenbrier County where White Silver Springs is, like when it comes to driving this, it's no laughing matter. Yeah. All right, I gotta figure out. I gotta see what this message is, and I'll. I guess I'll resume the vlog tomorrow. All right. Evidently, I slept soundly because between the time I fell asleep last night and me waking up around 4.32 this morning. I don't remember um, anything between them. I looked at the clock when I did wake up and it was 4.32 and I also saw that the lights were back on. I spoke to my mom this morning. She lives across the hall from me. She told me that the power came on about 12.15 in the morning. All right, but here's the scoop. She also told me Pretty much had a tree limb coming down on that power line caused that power outage last night. But hey, at least I ain't leaving you on no cliffhanger for this episode. Well hey, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe and follow me on my other media. And up around the bend you'll begin to see more styles of content that are going to differentiate from my uh, current vlog format. Alright, signing off till next time. Y'all have a good one.